If you ever used either for coding, you know how powerful it can be, but running it in the terminal has its limitation. So someone tried to fix this issue by creating a way to integrate either directly inside Visual Studio Code. No more switching between windows, no clunky workflows, just seamless coding experience with all the most important either feature right inside your favorite editor. So I did take a look at it and see if it's good or not. And to be honest, it's really amazing for a very new Visual Studio Code extension. It's created by a guy called Lee88688 on GitHub. I will show you how to set up it, how it works, and why it might be very good contender to replace Klein in the future. Let's take a quick look to its feature. It's easily add and remove files and toggle and toggle between read only and editable modes with just a click. You can switch between coding and read only mode, aka ask anything in just one click. Most chat modes are supported, including ask, diff, diff, and fence, and UDF, and the whole thing. And you can easily switch between them, which actually is easy to do also here. After selecting the code button, you can select any one of this one. Review code changes before applying them. Kind of very hard to do in the terminal, but right now it's extremely easy. Also, the chat history season are supported, but right now there is, there is certain limitation. If the multiple workspaces are not supported, Git repository feature is not supported yet. Linting is not supported and testing and the voice feature are not supported. In chat command are not usable yet. And finally, configuration option are not supported. Why you might ask all this limitation? Because this actually extremely new. It's less than a month old. It have less than 200 star on GitHub. So to make this work, we need Bison 3.10 and go ahead and download it on your operating system. And after you download it, we go into install a few things to make this Visual Studio Code extension work correctly. The first thing that we're going to install is the Adar Composer itself. In your extension tab, search for Adar. It will give you a couple of extensions, but we're searching for Adar Composer. I already installed it, but as you can see here, it's playing hide and seek with me because I can't find it over there. You might ask why, because we have to set up the Bison environment for it and install Adar and Flask globally. You can access the settings of either Composer by clicking this gear icon. Click Manage and select Settings. It automatically will open for you the either Composer settings inside Visual Studio Code. What we are looking for is this input. We need to get the Bison path. And it's very easy to do this on Windows. All you have to do is go for System Environment. And there we have to open environment variables, select path, and hit edit. Here we can find actually the Bison bus or that we want to copy. We need to get this one, not this one. Let's copy it and go here. And that's it right now. Now we have the Bison bus set up inside our Visual Studio Code. We need to install either Shad globally and Flask. So inside any terminal, you have pipe install either chat and flask. And after restoring your Visual Studio code, you will find actually either showed up over there. Let's click it. And now we have to set up any model that you want. If you want the best model for coding, go to the either chat leaderboard. They have leaderboard for their own best based on the best model that perform at coding. The first four models are the 3.5, Sonnet, and Haiku and the O1 preview from OpenAI. And in the first open source model that you'll find after that is the Quint 2.5 Coder 32B. I can use the Cloud 3.5 Haiku model. It's cheap and I have access for it. So I'm gonna use this one. It's really easy to set up model and it's very similar to client, but you have to do it in the other way. Here we have a list of providers that we have access to like DeepSeek, OpenAI, Anthropic, Olama, OpenRouter, and OpenAI Compatible. I selected Anthropic and put the name of the model that I want to use and the API key. You can get the name of the model by just searching for it over here. The name of the model will be this after the slash of the provider. For example, here we have the DeepSeek coder after the DeepSeek. So if we selected 
the provider DeepSeek, you just have to put the name DeepSeek Coder. Let's hit save. The UI of the Ader Composer is really clean and simple. And it have two mode. One is named Ask. It will you can ask it about any information inside your file, which I really like. And the second one is the coder. This is the one that will create and edit and modify the code for you. From this button, you can search for any file that you have inside your project, or you simply open the file that you want to edit. For example, let's try to edit the contact us page. I'm gonna open it, go back to either composer, and it's here automatically. This is really amazing. I don't have to add every single file by myself, like in either terminal. It's done here almost automatically. This is the page that I want to modify. I want to split this page to two sections. One that have the company information on the left and one will have the form on the right. And I will have to modify this style, which I really don't like, but it have been created by Haiku in a previous example. So I'm going to ask, so I'm going to ask either composer here to modify this page, show you if it worked correctly or not. With my page that I want to modify opened, here I wrote the prompt. I want to modify this page by splitting it, it into two sections, left and right. The left section will display the company information in a well-organized format. While the right section will feature contact form. The design should be clean and modern. Using gold and burgundy colors for styling, the input and buttons. This is two colors that's the main colors for the entire website with white background. And let's hit enter and let's see it in action. Okay, it seems after it is done creating the code over here, it gives you the ability to see what have we changed by clicking these buttons, next and previous. And if you want to confirm the modification, just hit this check button. So let's hit check and it's saved automatically. Do I have any errors? Yes, this one. And this is the new style that I wanted. This is really clean colors. I love the gradient, but it didn't use the gold. Doesn't matter, but I love it anyway. And it here say, I really recommend adding the custom Tailwind CSS classes for the gold colors over there. And it didn't do that automatically. So I have to do it myself. Okay. It's actually made the gold color show up over here. Very good. I love this. I love the style. So far at coding and creating and editing file, really good. But I don't know if it can create file or run command in the terminal. Let's see if we can make it to do, do that for us. I'm going to ask it, can you install React icons from NBM? And let's see if it can handle this. Okay, it can't run command, but it will give you the command that you want. So I'm pretty sure it also can't create files. Oh, no, it can actually create files. This is really nice. So this is really actually good. It's better than expected. I thought it's going to be buggy where this water file is saved. Let's see it. Yes. Okay. It's put the footer file inside the components folder. This is really, really, really good so far. I didn't expect it to be able to do that. So either composer. A really great addition to Visual Studio Code extension. So if I click this button, it will give you a new chat. And if I click the history, it will show me and what kind of stuff that I worked on and I can delete it or go for it. The cool thing about either in general, it save more token when you use it. Client have one bad side. It's burn token more than any Visual Studio Code assistant that I have seen so far, but in return, it will give you a very high quality code. So far, so amazing. Like either Composer from the get go, there is not a lot of bugs. It's doing an amazing generation of the code. It can create file, yet it can't run commands in the terminal. It's really easy to integrate and to set up. I really think that is if it got a little bit attention and more improvement in terms of the development, this either composer extension will beat client at some point at the future. That's it for this video. If you found this video respecting your time and providing you with a valuable information, please hit the like and subscribe button and leave a silly comment for the algorithm. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.